Are you ready for a podcast about sports and current events that's worth a damn? Well, you're in the right place. This is On The Clock Radio. Funny as hell. And they love to argue. Let's do the damn thing. You're listening to On The Clock Radio with Raul Lescano. Raul Lescano. Reggie Edwards. Reggie Edwards. And Tyrone Benson. And Tyrone Benson. What's going on with the clock fans? It is a beautiful Wednesday here in Tampa, Florida. I got my guy from the Bay. I got Tyrone Benson. I got my other guy here in the Bay, Tampa Bay. I got George Martinez on here. Reggie's still chasing the bag and doing his thing, man. But listen, we got a great show for you, man. The talk of the week, the talk of the town, the talk of all college football. We got to talk about Deion Sanders and those Colorado Buffaloes. Man, what a game that was. Upsetting TCU. I mean, a team that was in the national championship just last year, man. We got to talk about that. We got to do our pickums for the for the season. We got to start it off right. Big games are going to be in college football. Big games are going to be in the NFL. We're looking forward to these Jets. We're going to see what the hype is around them. We got a whole bunch to get going, man. Let's go. We coming through. Let's go. I got the park a lot rock. Stick on the seat for the fuck niggas plot. White folks take pictures. Hat to the back, a big bottle of liquor. All the hoes trying to holler. If you don't suck and fuck, get from around my parlor. Bitch, you better be shown. And no rules Hey, man, it's September 6th, man. We are in September already, man. It's football season. It's football season, fellas. September 7th is a Thursday night game, man. Are we back? It feels like life is back normal now. Now it feels like we back normal right now. What's going on, fellas? How was y'all's weekend, man? I know it was a long week on Labor Day, so how are you guys recovering? Man, look, but ain't, ain't that normal over here? Because Spectrum want beef with doggone <laughs> Disney over here, so I came to ESPN. Oh my God! How are you? Tra- how are you streaming the games now? You just what are you doing now? Well, I got ESPN Plus, so I, if I click on ESPN, I'm streaming through Spectrum. Right. So I got the uh, ESPN Plus through Disney. Right. And so if I if it uh, when I click on the game or whatever, and it gives me that um, ESPN Plus option, then I can watch it. And so I'm, I'm thinking about getting like YouTube TV or something though. So, so you, that's how you've been watching. The, that's how you're gonna watch the games the rest of the year. If I don't buy ESPN, if I don't buy YouTube, YouTube or whatever. Hey man, I'm telling you right now that Hulu, that Hulu I Live, Hulu. sixty. It's sixty four bucks, but you get Hulu Live. It's sixty four a month. You get Hulu. You get yeah, no, but it's a bundle though, bro. You get the Hulu, the Disney, and the ESPN. Well, I already got Hulu and Disney and ESPN separately. Did you bundle them? Yeah, they're all together. It's all together. So you can or just click on Hulu and go live. Okay, we'll try that. Let's, yeah, Hulu we'll Live got like three, four games. And if if you go to NFL Network, which is a part of Hulu, it'll show you more games. Yeah, I got to try that. Yeah, bro. That's how I watch mine. That's how I watch soccer, too. That's how I watch Lionel Messi. That's how I can skip around the Apple TV part and just watch him on that. It's good, man. It's been a good week. It was a good weekend, man. What, what about you, George? How was your weekend? Good, yeah, brother. This uh, podcast is sponsored by Hulu. Like well, to, well, to it's not, it's, welcome them as a as a future sponsor potentially. Yeah, I hope I hope call us. Know. Yeah, please call Raul. Yeah, hook it up on the clock twenty at gmail.com. There you go. But it was uh, it was good, man. It was good to see Prime <sighs> do Prime type of things. I know, I know. Like, he, is there anything he can't fucking do? There's listen, nothing. Dude, the, the, the dude sacrificed his left toe. Damn near his leg. Pump. Yeah, yeah. His arteries, everything. Oh, yeah, guys, I, I got a dog alert. I just seen the white dog getting walked down the street. Listen to me. Listen to me, man. You better have a steak or something. Throw that shit out the street for the damn dog tonight, man. Well, whoever, whoever the owner was just walking. When you we do, you do an intro, I'm like, oh, shit. So, you know, what, you know what's funny? The, the dog's like, you lucky this man's holding this leash. You right. He kept, he, he kept looking over, over here, dude. I'd be over to biting the shit out you right now. It's all right. 
I ain't a, I ain't a car I ain't a car carrying Peter member. Right, right, right. That, that, that dog may catch too too. But George, I, I agree with you, man. Watching Colorado was exciting, and I don't know how you felt about it. I don't know how you felt about it, Tyrone. But watching the game because I was excited. I wanted to to see Colorado. I wanted to see, you know, what the Louis bag looked like that he was bringing. I want to see what the Louis luggage was, and, and let me tell you something. It's it's certified Louis. Watching the playbook, though, watching the football plays, I don't know, man. It had a, it, it, I don't, maybe it's unintentional, but it had a mix of of new generational type of offense with with an old school type of an attack. Does that make sense? Yeah, but it's, if you follow Jackson State the last two years, it's pretty almost the same identical offense, just with more weapons. Well, it, I didn't get to watch Jackson State games. I watched one or two to not know, but I. I this seems, I mean, gritty, hard nose. I mean, the running back. I, I, oh my, jeez, number three, uh, uh, Dion Edwards or whatever it was, or Edwards. Yeah, oh like my that. gosh, the speed on that freshman. And he, yeah, he's only a freshman, bro. That's that's wild to me. That's wild to me, man. See, see the, the guy that I I was look, waiting for to see because I followed him all through Kentucky and stuff like that. Cavasi smoke, mm. but I guess he's hurt. Like I, I like oh, he's not, smoke. He's not playing in Colorado right now. Yeah, no, he's at Colorado. I think he's hurt. Damn. So he but yeah, he's hurt. Yeah, yeah, because uh, he was a beast at freaking Kentucky. What do you What do you and think, so, George? I mean, you you've caught a lot of offensive plays, man, in the high school level and stuff, man. What do you What did you see? Because it, it looked good to me. It looked really good. So, to me, it looked like the first half, Colorado was realizing they belong. Mm. The second half, they came out swinging like, bitch, we here. Yeah, right. Throwing haymakers. That first half was a lot of, you know, let me dump it, you know, be safe. Let's not turn the ball over. Let's not risk it. Let's protect the football. Second half, those those boys came out the locker room and realized 15 who? Right. Number 15 in the country who? Right, right. And it, it didn't matter. Right. And you saw you saw Dion's son at quarterback start taking more shots. Right. Now all of a sudden they started going down the field. You started seeing the defense jump some passes, which I mean that Travis Hunter oh. interception. So first of all, first of all, it's something so Colorado ran the same play on them. Mm. It was double slants with the running back running a wheel. Yeah. When when it was ran against Colorado, the kids all passed it off. Travis Hunter then jumped the route. Yeah, it looked beautiful. For TCU, Mike got picked. They didn't switch it off. Running back walked in the end zone for the first score of the game. Right. To me, that's coaching. Like legit coaching. Those kids were prepared yeah. for that game. So shout out to Dion for that. I know, man, and and I have a snippet of his of his uh, the end of the post interview. I want you guys to hear, but he a little message to his haters that he had. Here's Dion yeah, addressing yeah, the media. Like that. like that, I just like them to know that I know that you really ain't with me. You really ain't with us. You really don't believe. You really don't want to see me win. You don't want to see me in in in, uh, in victory or at peace and have joy. I know you don't want to see that, but I love it. It ain't nothing different. Why would I expect something different? It was like that when I played, right? So I'm just I'm playing another game. I'm just out, off the field. I'm not on the field now, but I can affect what's on the field. And I'm thankful for that. I really am. I mean, he he's he's spot on, man. I mean, I can't tell you how many times leading up to that Colorado game that we that we all knew that, you know, or not knew, but people were saying how much it's not going to work. Um these, you know, he's bringing 75% of the of the kids from HBCU to play in, in, a, in a, a little more elite level. You know, there's no way Dion can win these games. I mean, it, they had you had a lot of critics eat some humble pie on Saturday, man, uh, after Dion's win and Colorado's win. I'm going to say Colorado's win because I'm going to tell you right now, I knew his son was a good quarterback. I saw, like I said, I saw two Jackson State games. I thought he played excellent. But watching on Colorado, hey, man, that, that guy's accurate. You know, it's, oh, yeah. it's easy to throw the wide open passes. I'm, I'm seeing him hit digs and crossing routes. I mean, time in, in short windows, beautifully, beautifully, man. And to have 510 passing yards on your opening debut, woo, woo. 
And you know what wasn't even shown mm. on on Saturday was his ability to get out the pocket. I know, and to run, and to make something. I know. And, yeah, the ability from the same place he didn't need to. Right. He shimmy to the left, found a nice little window on that one touchdown that it threw in the back corner of the end zone from the thirty yard line. He just felt the pressure, slid to the left, could have ran. Yeah. Stayed, stayed but, but, behind the last scrimmage and delivered a rocket. Yeah, yeah, he's a he's a pocket passer. He's a he's not a dual threat. Well, I mean, like, I've, a, well, he, I, he, Tyrone, I see no, him get no, loose no. now. I see him get loose. No, 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 no. get loose. I mean, yeah, playing in the black college league, yeah, but he's not that fast. But bro, like, you don't four, need six, to be four, fast seven, to go 40. get you. You don't need to be fast to go get a couple yards. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, but I mean, he don't have that elite speed. But he, he's a he is he, he even tells you he's a pocket passer. Yeah, and I think well, he's been working with Tom Brady since he was in high school, and so like people just now seeing all these pictures of him and Tom Brady thrown over in Tampa during COVID, like he's been doing that shit since high school. Like I think that's that when I mean, you got the goat working one on one with you over the summer every year. I mean, some got to pass off. I mean, his decision making was freaking unbelievable, and it's. I watched him play a lot at Jackson State, and I wasn't a believer of him in high school. Right. And I, and I followed him. I followed him and Dion when they had that little, that little YouTube show they had on YouTube near in high school. And I followed that, and I, I really wasn't a believer. But he got to Jackson State. It was like, all right, he could throw, but it was just a competition. Now I'm, I'm a believer. Even with Travis Hunter, I'm a believer of Travis Hunter. I just thought – Okay, yeah, his competition in Georgia wasn't all that, blah, blah, blah. Got Jackson State. If he could stay when he was healthy, he dominated. Right. And then you get to Colorado, and he dominated. Man, there wasn't nothing. I mean, it wasn't like he played 110 snaps, but it ain't like if me, you, or George played 100, 110 snaps. I'm a half ass on a couple. Yeah. That dude was elite. For yeah, he, snaps. Oh yeah, yeah. He was yeah, he dominated both sides of the ball. And and that's 110 snaps that Ten. actually wasn't with a penalty. Right. So it's actually closer to about 125 of actual snaps that he actually played in that had, you know, 15 of them had some type of penalty involved, whereas it's a it's a do-over. But again, you know, he's still running around, he's still doing this, he's still doing that. Blocking. How soon before that guy gets tested? Is he already tested this week for for Pete? Because you know, I, I mean, NCAA got to be knocking on Dion's door, right, right, right to and figure out what's going. There's no way this kid, yeah, played 110 plus snaps, and then is dancing his ass off in the fucking locker room post game, like yeah. the dude didn't even play, yeah, like he never looked tired. Yeah. But that's what they said about him in high school. But he went both ways in high school. They said the same thing. He'll play 60, 70 snaps in high school yeah, and coach, still be the same. Coach, 70 plays in high school, a buck 20 in college with the physicality. And then not for nothing, Travis Travis comes down and lays, lays a lumber. Yeah, he's a hitter. He plays defense. He comes downhill. So that takes a toll on the body. And the catches he's making, he's going across the middle. Yeah, His ball, his ball, his ball skills are crazy. And just imagine had he caught the two go routes oh, that he yeah. dove for. He would have had a 200-yard-plus yeah. day receiving, and he dropped an interception. Yep. He would have had a three-interception day and 200 yards receiving. It would have it would have been even crazier than it was. Oh, and listen, man, he's as real as advertised. You know what I'm saying? He was oh, the yeah. number one player in the country for a reason. I mean, it, he was as real as advertised watching him play. Because even though I'm I'm watching, you know, TCU, I'm trying to figure out. I'm like, okay, where's is he up top? No, he's up top now. Oh, he's down in the bottom. Oh, you know what I'm saying? He's not playing one side of the field or the other. Like they they purposely who's their TCU's best guy? That's where he was at. I'm like, shit, this kid is a dog, man. He's right to put that. that yeah, and not for nothing. Not for nothing. He also, Dion just opened the door to a thousand recruits uh-huh. that play both ways, are used to playing both ways, and get and, to college. And, and, and want to play both ways. Want to do it. Right. And, and usually they're told, no, you're going to, we recruit you to play DB. Right. Now you're playing linebacker, deal with it, or go hit the portal. Right. Right. Travis Hunter chose Dion for that reason because he was the only guy that was going to truly allow him to play both sides of the ball full time. And, and imagine that conversation now. It's like, hey, and learn from the best, right? 
Yeah. And and not for nothing. The dude has another receiver that's Joe Horn's son. Yeah. Yeah, you sitting out there. Joe Horn's out there giving tips to the DBs and, and the receivers that are out there about making do doing this move. I mean, coaching staff is unreal. It is. Unreal. Well, I mean, I mean, Jimmy Horn is a great, I mean, the son, he's a great route where he's like he dead. He yes. ran when he ran that double move when uh, shot that thirty yard touchdown when Shiloh started scrambling, he just put his foot in the ground and came right back ran across the field for him. I was like, you know, you can't teach that shit. I try to teach my receivers here. That's just something that's in your mind. It's it's, it's, it's just instincts, yeah. and so you know, it was. Um, it was a good game. I I, I really enjoyed. It. it was a. I mean, I thought it was going. I mean, they had them down. And they were twenty eight point dogs. Yeah, in that game. Let me ask you this. Man, this, this, yeah, minimum, this is, yeah. I know it's one game, or, and nobody's saying that he's going to win the national championship. But it was such a good opening because we, you know you got to shut a lot of people up early, and it wasn't like it wasn't like you know it was a 23-24 win. Like they went that, to me, it was equivalent to seeing two boxers in the middle of the ring just going blow for blow. Because I'm not going to take away from TCU's offense. TCU's right. offense was looked good too. I mean, you got to well, do something on defense. Um, yeah, my, I, I think they're going to do this year here. Deion's going to have a good season. But I guarantee you, 2024, that D line linebacker core is going to be up to par. Because well, they were small. TCU knew that, okay, well, shit, we can run the middle on them. They just started well, let's talk to about it. Let's talk about the season. Let's talk about the season, right? So they had, number, they had TCU opening day, 145 42. The next game is Nebraska. You know, do, what do you. They beat Nebraska. They beat Nebraska. Be, and they got they're, Oregon. They're, well, they got Oregon Colorado gonna, State after that, and well, then they got gonna, Oregon. They're going to be three. They're going to be three and zero before they get to Oregon, and they got USC right after that. Yeah, they do. So it's, it's, you, you, it's USC game. is going to be their test because all the receivers on USC are six four or better. So it's going to be a good day for Travis Hunter. They're going to try him. Every college yep. is going to try the kid. They're going to try him. Oh, every they're going. They're going to try him. Yeah, yep. they're going to try him. Every week. So you, you goes three and zero. You think he loses to Oregon and USC? I think he keeps it. Cl- I think he, Oregon might beat him by two touchdowns. USC, I think they hang tough with USC. I don't like the USC defense seem kind of weak to yeah, me. Yeah, de- defensively they got some they got some issues on the D line and, and line. I, I think I, th- I think in the shootout they they can hang. True. So so here's the reason why I think they beat Oregon. Oh wow! Is they actually match up with Oregon. Oregon is a track star type of team. They're not big on the D line, O line front. Nope. If if there's a team they can they can match up athletically with in a hype type of game like that, it's gonna be Oregon. I do agree. USC, Caleb Williams, it's gonna be it's gonna be a tough. Yeah, that tough. one, if you keep that, if you keep that within twenty one, you know, maybe fourteen points. That's you know, they say moral victories. Yeah. Right. It's a program, it's a program builder, right? Because now you're like, okay, we can compete with these dudes. If now we can go get the D line, the O line, and that linebacker core, because you're right, TCU figure it out, right? That we can run down the pipe, forgive and try and throw with them athletically. We're just going to pound the ball because they got small guys, yeah, yep. playing that D tackle. And again, as good as their offense for Colorado is, it actually hurts them on defense because now they're scoring so quick that defense is out there over and over. And over yeah. again, and they're wearing down. They're not big boys. They're yeah. just not. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad you said that because, like me, I think we were all talking about he was here. Man, the, um, Colorado could have put them away a long time ago. A long that game. time ago. A long but, time. But ago. I mean, they'll score. They give up an 89 yard kickoff return. Put them inside yeah. of five. Then they'll score again. Then they give up a 78 yard touchdown or a touchdown or a run. And like every time they try to put them away, TCU had that. One or two play drive that boom, 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 and knock the score. And they could not, they could have hit them with the haymakers a long time ago. I, absolutely, man. And and listen, just not that game alone, just that game alone, you know, you got to think, let's think outside of not just outside of football, but outside of what we're seeing, right? The recruiting numbers went up the next day. If anybody in the country was being recruited by Colorado and they're like, I don't know, now it's probably like, yeah, I'm going to go be with oh, you. You signed. Oh, you yeah. signed. You, you, you. They got phone calls on Sunday and Monday, and even, even yesterday, saying, "Hey, I want to commit to to Colorado." You know what I'm saying? Well, I guarantee you. Because Dion, Dion is going to be a recruiting nightmare for coaches this year and next year. Because why? He's showing you I can do this. I just need, I just need you. He can literally go to a house or tell somebody, "If you come over here, we can make this work." And we, we I'm just one piece away, and they're going to believe him. 
Yep. And not not for nothing. Also, what Dion is doing outside of the things already mentioned, he's opening the door for other coaches. And he he talked about it that don't fit the profile, right? They don't say the right. the right things and don't dress the right way and this right. and the other. Bring that swag element that a lot of a lot of universities usually shy away from yeah. wanting to hire because they but can't control him. Right. But that's what the kid the right? kids want that swag still. And and but I think you're seeing a shift. I think you're seeing a shift a little bit in coaching right yeah. now. Where now you're going to get those guys that bring the high they bring this flag that bring that energy start getting looked at more because now the goal is can i find the next dion before the next university does yeah and you're right that's the, a racer on the, the, and you're right you have to you hit it right on the head they're gonna they gotta do something because i mean i'm looking at dion's colorado sweater i'm looking at his, his oh, oh man, man it's, it's dope nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he made that shit look hot good. man <laughs> I, Dion always had no. that same man. If you look good, you, play you feel good. good. If you feel good, you play good. And that's why I got to tell CJ, good, I need gloves good. from Colorado. I need a picture from Dion sign. I well, no, I'm freaking um. But if you notice know after the game, who was one of the first people that gave that came and gave Dion a big ass hug? The AD. The AD has his back 110. Well, oh, that's the, the issues AD with just, everybody else. Just just got paid off for the <laughs> fucking move he made on hiring Dion Sanders. Yeah, the, if Dion uh, don't win another game the rest of the year, the fact that they beat TCU opening game right. saves just saved everybody's job. Listen, yep. if this guy goes around and he beats fucking Oregon and USC and he's five and zero. Oh. oh man, listen Let him to fuck me. around. Let him oh, fuck around like oh, he, if he, if he beats top Oregon, five. Then, top five. Yeah, top, I was gonna say top five. Listen to me very carefully. He, he skips from twenty three to, to, to he top five. beats he beats USC and Oregon. Back to back weeks, if he can do it, the it's world, a it's a tall task. The world task. won't know what to do. The that, world's not gonna know hey what man, to do. Hey man, just back up. This has just became Dion's fucking NCAA. You, Dion could do whatever he wants from there here on out. And listen, it's a beautiful thing. And I've been saying this because I'm, I'm a Miami Hurricane. I know, I know, uh, Tyrone, you don't have these problems at Alabama. Uh, uh, George we, is we a kid. We did back in the day. Well, but the thing is, when you align the coach, when everybody has the same goal, common goal. From, from the president to athletic director to whoever, football operations to the head coach, whoever, when all that's in line, you see you see what, what happens. You see the beauty that comes with it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Jackson State was not ready for the... the no, they were no, no, they, 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 they were not they, ready they for this. This, this, this. this media, this, this outpour, nobody, they weren't ready. Jackson State was ready for Deion Sanders... Jackson State was not ready for prime time. Prime time, right. exactly. Right. exactly. That's the difference. Oh, huge. Where huge. Colorado is like, hey, no, no, we'll take Dion, but we want prime, prime time. time. Yeah, yeah. I mean, because I it, mean, and, and actually, fun fact: when they offered Dion his contract, they didn't have the money to pay him. Right. Yeah. And Dion the still took the job. Wasn't, he but took the well, job. Yeah, Dion because said he ticket sales. He yeah. wasn't. Ticket sales were done overnight. Boosters are showing back up out the woodworks, and now the program basically you saw you're seeing him flip a program like nobody else has ever been able to do this fast right. in college it's, football history. Especially have, when you when you offload fifty two kids. That dude walked in and told everybody, "Listen, I'm bringing my baggage with me. It's Louis." It and now Louis. we found out it, it ain't the bootleg Louis. No, it's on Twenty Second Street and 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 straight from Italy. It, it, Louis. It, yeah, it's that real shit. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. How I mean, he offloaded kids fifty left. plus kids left. Yeah, yeah. Even, but he even said the first day, "Hell, I ain't gonna be here. I'm gonna get in that transfer. Go get in the portal. Go find a home. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Go ahead and get in the portal." And he everybody was day. mad at Dion, but he's like, "Yo, I can't win with this shit. What do you right. want me to do?" And everybody shit on him. His play right. too small. Yes, they weren't, they weren't good enough. This, that, and the other. Man, hey, well, I, I, I love it. It's week one. How stupid! One. How stupid does USF look? How stupid how, does how USF stu- look? Does, does every other university in the country? Well, well because how's it was like Florida State? Florida yeah. State. That's well, another you, one. you have to understand something. Dion doesn't claim Florida State. I, I know. I know. I know if you guys noticed that. Yeah, but you, you, we all know. If Florida right. State would have came and told Dion, "We want you over here," Dion would have said, "I'm there." 
Maybe, maybe. Yeah. I mean, because that would have been the, that would have been the mega powerhouse to recruit from. But the biggest thing is Dion wants control, money, all of it. These Everything. schools won't give up control. That's the issue. Dion wants control, and Dion's not going to conduct himself, you know, unprofessionally. He's going to take care of business. But see, but see that but, was South Florida's problem. They, wanna, I, they didn't want to give up control. How correct. stupid do they look? And this, I said Bro. this, I said this on a comment to people when they were like, "Oh, we might get Dion." I said, "You don't deserve." Deion Sanders in prime time. USF, you, you don't get the deserve keys to everything. You get every every login, every right. password, every right. bank account, every set of keys, whatever it is that man wants. Bro. He would have flipped. He would have flipped USF upside down. Oh, easy. Especially with easy. this new stadium coming for USF. Yeah. Oh, it would have been tickets would have been sold out easy. for years. Easy, bro. So. And, and USF looks even stupider. For not oh, doing this, with them. you know what I mean? Because bad they, organizations you know, make yeah. bad moves, and they, they got do. their ass whoops out. Of course, After other they teams had a seventeen zero lead, right? Yep, they right. Hawk down. Listen, man. Other teams that that had a great opening week. I mean, yeah. Let, let's keep on the opening great opening week. Let's not talk about the shitty openings. Well, we got to talk about the shitty one because I was going to go and get this because <laughs> on Colorado's schedule, the last game of the season is Utah. Okay, if he can get through that schedule. At the top half and get to Utah undefeated or with one loss. I, I, I give Listen, two losses. we're gonna talk. Well, I'm gonna tell you this now. If he, and this is my opinion, if he can get through his schedule and get to Utah with one loss and beat Utah undefeated or one loss, there's gonna be talks of why can't Colorado play in the college playoffs? I think they finish at number five or six, but they, they're gonna be talks about why is it Colorado in there. That's what we're talking about. Strength, strength Here's strength. what's going to happen. Right. I, I agree. The, he's going to finish five or six. I do yeah. agree. I think they lose one, maybe two games all yeah. year. I yeah. say two, yeah. They're going to match him up intentionally with the SEC team in the in in, in, in a bowl game. Yeah. And let's yeah. see what he got. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah that's that's well, what well, you're going to see happen. Well, and that's the bowl game I'm always, watching. I don't give a fuck about nothing it's, else. It's a different breed, though. I But that's... But, but that's what I'm saying. It's NCAA's way of trying to slow him down. Yeah. They're going to throw the gauntlet at him. Yeah. They're going to say, okay, yeah. you know what? You're five. You're nine and two. You're 10 and one. You're whatever you are. All right. Now we're going to give you the, the SCC. Yeah. Let's see. Or, if you can can say, or, 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 or maybe the A or maybe even the ACC. Yeah. Just don't match him against Clemson because he'll make him look Clemson. Oh, yeah. Clemson. <laughs> yeah. yeah just, he'll embarrass Clemson. You see Debo, yes. Debo, Dabo, let me say, Dabo don't want that smoke. Yeah, D- no, Dabo no, looks so defeated smoke. the other night. Like, Jesus. He, he has no quarterback. I know, and man. Poor gonna, guy. And then, and then you go watch his quarterback over there in Washington State throw for like 400 and some change. <laughs> no, I, I, I got I to stop you. I got to stop you. I got to stop you. Because this quarterback was apparently birthed from fucking Trevor Lawrence. This dude apparently was like the next coming of Trevor Lawrence for Clemson football. I didn't see it. And he, he looked like ass. He, yeah, he, he looked looked terrible. Shitty. That's coaching. That's coaching. Well, let's talk about, since we're talking about coaching and ass, let's Clemson talk about the University of Florida. Clearly, these guys did not watch I mean, the whoa, Swamp whoa, Kings whoa, on Netflix. Whoa. Obviously, they didn't. <laughs> Clearly, they didn't. Which is very disappointing. <laughs> which is very disappointing, by the way. Nobody got I, hyped I mean, about I mean, this. Almost as disappointing as the Gators were on Saturday. I just cannot yeah, Swamp, believe. Swamp King, yeah, we talked about Swamp Kings last week. 11 yeah, I, 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 points, I, I, fellas. Terrible. We're talking 11 points they from the no University of Florida. Mm-hmm. Listen to me. That's not my problem. Do you understand that? I can't. I, you had an entire two seasons because you knew Anthony Richardson was going to leave at some point. You should have been recruiting. Well, you know what you're losing. Anthony Richardson, man, Anthony Richardson wasn't all that either. So. I, but I, Okay, so we then you know your quarterback has an issue. Quarterback pro- Fire the, coach, the quarterback coach. Yeah, Kittner, but he wanted, he wanted child porn on everybody. Yes, everybody. thank well, you. Thank now, you. even more reason why Kittner you guys are fucked up. Kittner he's not creating plays. Right. He's watching ass on the field. <laughs> Look, Look at these kids. Ass. Child ass. Child ass. Fucking kid porn. Yeah. Jesus. I don't know what uh, University of Florida, and again, <laughs> I have no idea why the Florida teams do this. I don't understand this. I, I truly don't get this. We have some like a one year, two year thing going on, and then we're short. Miami hasn't been Miami since two thousand one. We can't do shit. Hey, hey, Miami ain't been Miami since they switched jerseys from Nike to Adidas. I'm I, saying listen that to me, man. I and you know what? Time. I thought you were crazy when you said that shit. I completely believe. It. I don't even buy Adidas in my fucking house because no, I'm afraid exactly. that shit's gonna happen to me. My exactly. son wears Adidas cleats. I'm like, you're you're not gonna play today, are you? Because you can't wear Adidas cleats. <laughs> the fuck are you wearing Adidas cleats for? 
Um, That's how I feel about Reebok and Miles. I told Macy I'm wearing Reeboks. I mean, never wore Reeboks again. Never wore Reeboks again. <laughs> never again. It's so, crazy. Man. I, 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 Utah, Utah, and Florida. That was that was crazy. I didn't. I also think there has to be a mercy rule somewhere in college football because when you beat somebody, fucking eighty-one. <laughs> like, come on, guys, <laughs> guys, hey, guys, what that, are we that, doing? That, that, that duck is full of shit. Listen that, to me, just, Portland just State. Know. First of all, shame on you for creating Portland State, whoever established that college, and decided we're going to have a football team. Damn you. <laughs> they're there. Listen, what they you were mean? there just for the paycheck. They're right. there for they a paycheck, have, my yeah, friend. They, got, they probably got about two points. They collected. Million. Yeah, they collected. Listen, that's that scholarship money for next year. Right. Do, do you understand how this works as a, as a big school? Because Dion broke it down for HBC. When big schools want to play you, they pay you to kick yes. the shit out of you. That's yes. why he wouldn't play a big school. Portland State, I hope you guys got you know, porterhouse size steaks for your dinner for the football team for taking an 81 set. You are now in NCAA history. Like, you have being known as the Listen. team to give up 81 points. No, the, the record is like 123 by, like, Nebraska. No, no, like I'm not saying it's the highest. I'm just saying Arkansas, now you're in the record oh, yeah. books. Oh, okay. Jesus Christ. That's most points Oregon scored, yeah. Bro, there's, Arkansas wasn't that far away. What? No, they weren't. Arkansas give up seventy three to Oklahoma. Oh, I know. Look at that. And that's and that's and that's not and, and that's a Division one school. Can we that's just not even can, right. There's well, nobody that's, to that's, be that's like, like, hey, school. <laughs> cut. Which, by the way, did you guys not see the the clip of this guy on the sideline crying about him getting his ass whooped? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The Arkansas coach. Yeah. The Arkansas head coach is actually literally squatting down. His player comes behind him like, it's okay, coach. Yeah. We we got our ass kicked seventy three yeah. nothing. It's you have okay. a lap on Monday. Don't touch me. You have a lap on Monday, buddy. Stadium, stadium. Listen, dish. you know it's bad. You know it's bad when you're trying to watch the game because I'm trying to scan through, and I saw the score. I don't want to see none, but it's bad when you're on the when you can see the sideline, and not the players, not the coaches, not the equipment manager, or anything. When you watch the people that are 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 doing the filming of the game, and they're just wrapping up the fucking wire. <laughs> <laughs> just, just third, time to get out of here quarter. early, God damn it. We're, quarter, we out of here, <laughs> we Pack this shit up. We don't need any of this stuff. I'm not hey, doing baby. this. Just Frank, have two back cameras. Truck up. <laughs> yeah, Frank. Frank, back the truck up. <laughs> real quick, real quick, I do I do want to shout out. I did have a, a player make his debut at Iowa State. Oh yeah. On on Saturday. Rocco Beck, my my old quarterback at Wiregrass. How'd he do? High school. Three tutties, yeah. Two seventy passing. They won the game like thirty to three or something. No shit against North Northwestern. Well, hopefully, my, well, hopefully my son uh, will be playing with your quarterback kid. So hey, hopefully, we'll see. We, I mean, we get up. Well, well, he already has an offer for him. He's, they're, they're the number two team on his list right now. Nice. So. Here, Rocco. Rocco did his thing. Make he's a redshirt freshman. They won the job. And there's another dude over there that you know Raul really well, Greg Greg Gaines. Greg Gaines, I love that kid. I love that He's kid, man. There. I and mean, that's shout out shout out to Iowa State doing good things out there. On shout Saturday. out shout out to another guy that we uh, course, Xavier Townsend doing his thing at UCF, yeah, man. Catching his first first oh, first touchdown drive, so cool, man. And, he, and of course, in Xavier way, catches a pass, break a tackle, yeah, walks in the end zone, walks in I there, loved it. it. It's loved amazing it. to watch him play, man. Your life's all new. Sorry. Guys. <laughs> What is going on? At your, stop it! Now my, now my son is pulled up. He keeps like flashing his lights off and all. Like, come on, come on, <laughs> You're good, man. Somebody anyway, I, the, the other game is Florida State. Florida State killing LSU forty-five twenty-four. LSU was in so there for was a little that bit. A shocker to anybody? No, it, it wasn't. I mean, t- I know. I first of all, I, well, hate, I, I hate LSU. I do too. And listen, to put them at number five at the beginning of the season. And I hate like, Brian Kelly. Get the freak out of here. Yeah, Brian Kelly to me. It's, no, no, I like Brian Kelly at Oregon. Well, that that Brian Kelly doesn't know how to coach that's, football. That's 13 shades of yeah. Brian Kelly ago. Yeah, that, that's, <laughs> he's gone. He's gone. Uh, the last one is Duke over Clemson, 28-7, to beating Clemson. Love and, it. And Dabo Love it. Sweeney. That was, that was I, I thought Dabo was going to pop a vessel in his head, man. I really did. I, I felt really bad for, for him, uh, especially having just a, a, such a premier type of football team. You know what I mean? He was up there for a while. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know, I mean, man. They, they, ever, since, ever since Lawrence left, man, he can't, he can't find that magic no more. Yeah. I mean, yeah. He, he had, he had them, them eight golden years. We had Deshaun Watson. Yep. Right into Trevor Lawrence. And then. And then he has nothing. <laughs> he has nothing. <laughs> he, uh, he has nothing. So, let me, let me talk to you guys about this, man. This upcoming weekend, 
All right, we got. I want to go NCAA schedule. Just tell me what you like, Georgia. You gonna you gonna write down the pickums or where you want to do this? Yeah, gotcha. You want to go pick them away? I'll, I'll write them down. Gotcha, man. So here we go. So let's look at big matchups for NCAA this weekend. Uh, starting with Friday. Well, when, let's skip Friday. That's Murray State versus Louisville. Um, Louisville. Did, ain't nobody watching that game. That's Thursday. Ain't nobody watching that game. Friday's Indiana State. Indiana, no. I don't mm-hmm. see nothing on Friday. Yeah, I don't see nothing so, on Saturday. I mean, so Saturday. Heritage versus Centennial, bitch. Who? Uh, Heritage versus Centennial. Nobody cares. I like Centennial by fifteen. Yeah, right. Continue by <laughs> we, we, we haven't scored on all season. <laughs> you played one game. You <laughs> played two. You know, class counts. Played two. Well, okay. <laughs> I guess so. The class counts. Hey, man, I'm looking at the schedule. I don't see anything that's even appealing. Alabama versus well, Texas? Maybe? Yeah, that, that, that's a big one. Really? That's a big one. Yeah, that's a big one. Because they almost beat us last year. You remember? We came back like two minutes up in the game to beat them. Oh, that's right. And your guy, your guy, your quarterback scares me a little bit. I'm not going to lie to you. I mean, he runs a four three forty. So I mean, if we just fuck it, we just run the ball with him. Well, sure. I mean, that's probably your oh, total sorry. offense right there. Anything else, man? I don't oh. see anything. Like I'm looking at the big teams. Oregon's not. Oregon's playing Texas Tech. Um, that's a good game. Yeah, it's going to be a good game. But I'm, I'm trying to see. Like Texas, a, Texas an air raid offense. They back to an air raid now. So oh, they did. They went back, huh? They went back to an air raid offense. Mm. University of Miami's playing Texas A and M, which is ranked number twenty three. We'll see how that goes. Ole Miss versus Tulane. Tulane's ranked 24. Tulane's good. Really? Tulane's pretty damn good. They were good last year. I think they lost like one game last year. I got to call Brian Hollister and talk about these Michigan freaking Wolverines here being the ranked number two. That's, I think that's that's rigged. There's and no they way. play like shit, too. No, that's, shit. I, 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 that's, that's my secret team I root for. And no, Michigan like and Ohio State play like shit. Yeah. Hey, I don't see any but big no. game. I mean, we could talk about well, Texas well, hell, Alabama, they're, but. They're, hell, they're calling, them, they're calling for Ryan Day being fired. <laughs> Should be. <laughs> well, they only won 28 to 7 or something like that last week hmm. against Indiana. So. LSU should be able to handle grambling this week. Florida yeah, State's right. playing Southern Miss. God bless those guys. So the, so the Miss is all right, man. Southern Miss ain't beating Florida State. All right, I got three games. They, for they, you. they got, they got Frank give me three games. Huh? Give us the three games you got. Yeah, right, question Texas A&M is. or Miami. I'm going my Hurricanes. I love them. I can't go against them. Uh, I'm going. It's Jimbo. I'm Jimbo going, always has our fucking number. No, I'm going Hurricanes. Really? I'm going Texas A&M. I'm going Hurricanes. I don't. I don't blame that pick either, George. I mean, Jimbo always has our number. Yeah, we're going to go Texas. All right, next one. Okay, we'll go with the old school rivalry here. We got Iowa, Iowa State. Iowa. We're, supposed to be at that, we're supposed to be at that fucking game, too. I'm going to go with Iowa Texas. State and our guys over there, man. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm, going, I'm, gonna, I'm going to Iowa State. I'll put faith in them. Even Broomfield. Isn't Broomfield out there coaching? Yeah, uh, yeah, the little one, Dion. He's yeah. DB coach. That's why I want my son to go there yeah. because he puts two or three cats in the league every year. Yeah, and then he had four. He had four of his DBs get picked up on um, free agency, and they all made they all made the teams. So I'm like, all right. mm-hmm. What's your last one? one? Last one. FAMU, USF. I'm going FAMU. FAMU. <laughs> but, but did you watch the game when they played Jackson State? Jackson right. State no slouch. No, they're pretty well, good, and they blew Jackson State out. I didn't think they were coached very well. They looked very uh, undisciplined. Yeah, they looked so. pretty undisciplined. I, I like I, I like FAMU also. I like FAMU just because I don't, I don't want to go for USF. I, I'm, I'm still, still I'm still I'm, full I'm, of full of hate because they don't recruit very well here in Tampa. All right, and I'll throw a fourth one out there just because I think this will split us a little bit more. Bama, Texas. Bama. Damn it! split nothing. Damn it! I'm a Bama. Damn it. The only reason why, because Texas quarterback is iffy. I know. But that might be the night he's on, you know what I mean? Well, Jalen Monroe, he's iffy, but he's 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 capable of running. He can run. Yeah, that's what that's I'm you're you're making great points. I'm not saying you're wrong. And, it's just and, fuck. And, and 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 Jason Jason McClellan, our running back, is pretty pretty damn good. Yeah, he gets loose. I'm I'm gonna go with Alabama. I'm gonna go with Alabama on this one. God. You better because you want old Miami, fool. <laughs> I'm gonna say I'm gonna say the state of Texas. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick Texas on Texas. the upset. I don't yeah, I don't blame that's that's still a good pick, man. I don't blame you. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a tight it's a tight one. That's a good one, man. But but I'm still wearing my Bama gear to the USF game. No, so you're not. Don't wear 
Jesus. Jesus. I'm, a, I'm, I'm that, that guy. guy. You got to be neutral. Guy. You can't sit there and be doing that stuff, man. My son don't want to go to USF. What don't say there? that on the red. Come on. What are we doing oh. here? This kid might want to. The chain. Don't let no, him do that. No, 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 he doesn't. Oh, All right, let's flip over to the NFL. Let's go NFL schedule. What do you got? An Jag- NFL pick them. Bears. Jaguars. Jeez. Bears. Packers. You know what? I'm, 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 yeah, I'm going for Justin Fields. I hope he beats the fucking Packers. Yeah, I like I'm Justin Fields, man. I hope he does. Man, it. He has shit around him now. So now, now, let's see what he does. Right, right. I'm going with the Packers. Okay, right. this is good. This is good. Either, either I'm going to do really well, or God, you're so I'm against us. I'm going to be in last place <laughs> myself. 49ers, Steelers. Ooh. Good game. Good game it's in, in Pittsburgh. It's, it's, and it's pretty Joey plain. Bosa may or may not be playing because as then, of right now he's still holding out. And so is what's the name too? Uh, the tight end. Kittle. Kittle. Kittle's Kittle. out. No, Kittle's he, out. He'll play. He'll play. What do you mean? No, nah, they say he has like a okay. quad or knee injury or something. You talk, no, you're talking no, about no, Travis Kelsey. Kelsey. Travis Kelsey extended. No, 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 no. I'm talking about Kittle. Okay. I just I, I just said right, so today. I'll put you down. I'll put you down for the Steelers then. Hey, hold on, it's pretty plain. Yes. I'm going Steelers. I'm going 49ers. Ooh, I like it. I'm, I'm going, going 49ers also. I'm going 49ers. Steelers. I'm going 49ers. Steelers. They got a run game. Black and yellow, right. black and yellow. <laughs> All right, for, uh, for you Dolphin fans out there, Dolphins... Why are we, playing. Why do we have to do this, man? This is this is illegal. We're gonna this play the freaking Chargers, man, against the quarterback I really wanted. I wanted Herbert. I bought there a t shirt and everything says recruit Herbert. <laughs> you're, you're gay. I'm you're just saying, in, man. Now, now you are playing in LA, so that West Coast travel, yeah, time difference early with, on with Tua's arm. Well, are with we playing on turf or grass? They have they're, turf. They, uh, do they? They're a natural grass. They have, I think they're a grass field. I thought they were it, is, it is indoor, but I think they're one of the few that actually have. If a, we're a playing grass. on grass, if we're playing on grass, Tua won't well, get concussed we, as much. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a little softer <laughs> on the fucking brain, so he might be okay. I thought, by the third I thought they had turf. I don't know, man. I don't I'm, know, a, I'm going Chargers. I have to go with my Dolphins because if not, then I won't be allowed back in the city. <laughs> I'm going Chargers. Just because and I'm not pick, and I hate picking from the heart because you I know yes, 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 you know the Chargers are a better team. They're just a better team. I'm going Miami. I, I, I like Miami I'm, a lot. I gotta go. Yeah, actually, I gotta I'm, go with Miami because my team. I'm, but I don't know. I see. I'm changing my. I'm going Miami because I like because Jalen Ramsey is my dude. So, but he's not playing. I yeah, know, he, but still, no, the defense too. Actually, no. I'm going Chargers because Eli Apple's taking away his spot. Man, you make so, your mind. This is I'm like going, talking to Chargers. a wife. Where do you want to go eat dinner at? <laughs> I'm going Chargers. Did y'all watch Eli Apple in the Super Bowl? Come yeah, on, yeah. Who cares? Yeah, okay. We'll talk All about right. what about. Okay, go ahead. In the toilet bowl, we got the Raiders versus mm. the Broncos. Mm. Sean Payne makes his debut as as a head coach. High. Ooh. I'm going. <laughs> Broncos got Judy. They got Garoppolo too. Is Judy playing though? I don't know. Is he? I don't know. He he did. Uh, he Josh did Jacobs playing a, right? uh, a knee sprain. Josh Jacob is playing. But who who who's who? Uh, no, Raiders got Garoppolo though. Yeah, I'm going Raiders. I'm going Raiders. Give me the Broncos. Let's ride. Let's ride. <laughs> Get George a shirt. Let's ride. Yeah, let's ride. <laughs> All right. Funny. Last one. Bucks, Vikings. Oh, well, my, Jags, my Jags ain't playing? Yeah, um, we're, talking about t- we're talking about games that matter. <laughs> just, just, this is a Bucks matter right now. You said they were going to 0 17. <laughs> Listen, Caleb Williams train starts now, baby. Hey, George, hey, <laughs> hey, hey, Tyrone, I will say this. You guys got Indianapolis out the gate. Oh, we're good. We won't beat them. Especially yeah. if Anthony Richards is playing. Hey, Richards, right. <laughs> That's why you even pick him. JT's not playing. It's, it's almost like a preseason game for the Jets. Right. Pretty much. Yeah, we're three, we're, hey, we're three and no in the preseason. Pitch. Pretty much, man. Pretty much. We're preseason champs. Uh, let's see. Three. But you said Bucks, right? Uh, Bucks, Vikings in Minnesota. And they got no, they got no, they got no devil back, George? Rashad, Rashad White. I, I like him last year. Like 27? Uh, he, he's, he's Le'Veon's Bell's second cousin. Number 27? 
Well, he's number one now, but yes. Uh, uh, yeah. Ooh. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go Bucks. Mm, see, look gonna, at you. I'm going Bucks. I, I I like White, so I think Roll Baker. Up. I think Baker's enough of a quarterback to get them a win, so they'll go seven zero oh, and seventeen. I'm going Minnesota by seven, but they ain't got Davin uh, Cook. I don't think they need him. They, they, they ain't got Thielen. I don't think they need him either. Which, by the way, I do like Jeffrey Addison a lot. <laughs> I like him a lot. Him with Justin Jefferson. Yep. Yeah. Now the, the one well, the, the one thing I do give the Bucks a slight edge is defense. And why I think is, is I think the Bucks defense can't yes. and That's Kirk Cousins I'm... is the second coming of fucking Dak Prescott's I just don't think sister in law son. I don't think Bucks has enough offense. <laughs> I, I think Kirk Cousins is that guy that on fourth and seventh throws a two yard out route and thinks he's gonna get seven. I think the Bucks guy, are the Bucks terrible. are the, the, the team that on the two yard line no, will throw no. the fucking slant instead of just run the football. <laughs> hey, listen, that ain't low, whoa, 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 yeah. whoa, whoa, whoa. I think they'll do that yeah, bullshit. No, 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 we ain't, they ain't got Byron Leftwich no more. So right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which, by the way, phenomenal hire. I'm and it's on the recording, so we can come back to this on September six. The Bucks OC that we hire from Seattle is going to be a phenomenal OC and might even be our next head coach. Jesus. I, you're That's too much. I got to see this. I got to see this. If they, if they go with eight and nine, then we're going to be all right. So. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'm, 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 I'm going buck. I'm still going buck. So I'm at it. Listen, I'm I'm excited that football's back. Period, man. You know, not no more. No more off weekends. So uh, February, baby. That's so, it, so, man. Who'd you, who'd you pick, George? Who do you think I picked? He picked the Bucks, man. He's sure, the woods. Man. He's taking books. I'm just making. I'm just making sure. You said 0 and 17. I thought you're gonna pick against them every week. Well, he's, yeah, 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 but he's, 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 come on. Now, I'm probably gonna pick the Bucks every time you put me on the pick them. <laughs> <laughs> They're probably going no, going 17 and 0, baby. Yeah. Um, you know, oh, I, I like that, the Bucks. That shit happens. God damn. Yeah, Dolphins <laughs> fucking toast that shit now. Jesus Christ. I know. I know. I know. I know. We'll see how it goes. Listen, I, I'm, I, which real quick, I, I almost did as a pick'em. Yeah, but I didn't. But I did want to talk about it. Was that Jets Bills? I want to see what the hype is. I think Bills fucking stomped them. I you think Bills. So? Yeah, man. I've been watching. I've been watching the Hard Knocks. Jets defense is is good. They are, man. But I've been watching the Hard Knocks, man. And I'm gonna tell you what. It takes a long time for the offense to get going in practice. I don't know what it's gonna be like in a game. He has a hard time think, getting going. Into me. I think Roger's gonna have an impact, but I just think like like Raul said, I just think the camaraderie with the Bills players and just they've been there before. They've been together for so many years. Yeah. Now I just think it's, the experience is just gonna take over. We should see, man. I just don't. I don't know. I mean, I like and watching Aaron Rodgers to Wilson. Good, Him so. throwing number seventeen, Wilson is is a kid special. Wilson's the next Devontae Adams. Oh in, yeah, in yeah. Creation. In I creation. Agree. Well, we're gonna see it before our eyes. Well, hey, we're seventeen, so. Yeah. Yeah, right? Uh, I mean the Bills are routine or crazy. They're yeah. actually favored in New York. Really? Yeah. So typically the way betting works is home team usually gets three and a half. Right. So mm. if, if the other team's a favorite, you add the three and a half plus whatever the favorite, and that's the true spread. Right. So the Bills are actually two and a half point favorite, which means they're almost pretty much at almost a six point favorite. Mm. To win the game by, which goes back to Raul, your point about their offense are a little slow, and maybe one of the same situation when they get down early. You know, do, how does Dalvin Cook get used? Who hasn't been there very long in the running game? An offensive line that's not great to begin with, right? Um, you know, if if I'm the Bills, I'm putting a little more attention to to Garrett Wilson and make somebody else beat us out of that receiving core. Mm-hmm. Yep, I like the Bills also, but I think I think it's a field goal kind of game. I think it comes down to who has the ball last. And right. I think Josh Allen does, and he'll drive him down for a field goal. Well, George, I got a couple questions for you real quick. You know it's Friday oh. Night Football here coming up, right? Oh, yeah. You coming know what I mean? This week, no, no, this, a lot this, of prime this, time this, games. This ain't Heritage, fair. I, 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 don't, I heard I don't, a whisper. I don't, I don't, Heritage I was, there, may, so. may lose this week. To Centennial? Who knows? Nah. Listen, Heritage's defense has been Look. strong, having, having scored on, and, you know, bulletin board material, a little bird told me across the street. That uh, they're looking to put some points on the board. No, it, it, I, our test is next weekend is Oviedo. But Oviedo just got beat by freaking Sanford. So, I mean, it's like, 
Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, George, got destroyed by the San Francisco. You know, we got some we got some games coming up here this week, right? We got Armwood versus Hillsborough. Armwood coming off that huge win. Uh, oh, you're not gonna like my answer to this. I'm going, oh, I'm, I'm going. I'm going. I'm going, I'm going I, son, I just want my son to survive. Over there. I don't want him to survive. I told the kid, man, God bless you. I hope you survive. Man. <laughs> Which, by the way, I called Venice being the shit out of Tech. Mm. Last time we did the pick him for high school, we did. We did. Yeah, yeah. we called. You know, yeah. we said Venice was at least a yeah. two to three touchdown favorite, and nobody was really happy with me when the the guy that did the highlights. I heard. When I, I, heard I told him that. I heard, hey, man, you, you guys, were, you guys got your ass kicked. They, they threw eggs at your house. And, oh fuck yeah! Set my car on fire. Man. It's ridiculous. Um, there's no other huge games that I'm looking at right now. I mean, I love watching Jesuit. I, I've never, I've never seen Columbus play. You ever seen Columbus play? Is that up? I have seen Columbus play. Yeah, that's up play. in uh, that's up there in Jacksonville area, isn't it? Yeah, mm-hmm. I think so. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. that's gonna be a good one. Tampa Catholics versus uh, CCC. Um, that I might like be CCC. okay. Yeah, I like them What's too. What, 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 who's CCC? Uh, the Clearwater Central, Central Catholic or Clearwater, sorry, Clearwater oh, okay. Central Catholic. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. I like those guys. I mean, there's a there's some good mention. Middleton versus Leonard. Uh, Leonard coming off a huge win off of Robinson beating Mike Williams. I don't know if you know that, George. Twenty eight to fourteen. I know Mike wasn't freaking happy about that. I, t- I told you it was twenty eight. So you yeah, know you I did. Know that. Huh? <laughs> you know I know that. Yeah, I mean, just honorable <laughs> mention since Mike didn't want to get back to me and want to come on the show. I just want to let him know. Good luck. Keep trucking. Um, he better be, he better tighten up because he's got strawberry crust. <laughs> so he better not lose a strawberry crust. Um, that's it, man, for the Friday night games that are huge. I mean, Tech is playing Newsom, which Newsom still runs the wing T, so we'll we'll see how that goes. Um, so I, I got this is not a Hillsboro kind of spotlight. Yeah, got yeah. two rivals that do not like each other at all are playing this weekend. It's actually in Pasco. My my old uh, team Wiregrass is playing against Zephyr Hills. Gotcha. And, uh, the, the, the picket the picket Wiregrass because, relationship uh, is not very man. good. Antoine Sims, that's my dog. I was from over in Palm, Palm Bay before he moved to Zephyr Hills. So I'm going for Zephyr Hills. Mm. Zephyr Hills has a nice little squad, and they got probably the number one ranked player in the country right yeah. now. Yeah. In picket, so oh, you know what. Game. Here's I, this is the game of the week. Oh, I know what you're gonna say. You know, I just saw it. Gaither, Gaither versus Wharton. Oh my yeah. gosh, that's the game of the week right there. I got to see that game. Wharton that's, has that's a potential playoff uh, matchup preview. Re- it really is, man. Wharton mm-hmm. Wharton has that the, the leadership of of Jackson Jensen. I mean, coming off of, of I think he's got total now over 1,200 yards or seven or eighteen hundred yards or some shit. Phenomenal yeah, opening balling. two weeks. Oh my gosh. Um. And Jackson Jensen, if, whoever is listening, if you're a college, you, you need to jump on recruiting that young man. Absolutely. Kid. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Gaither, I'm I'm you know I'm a freaking Dane Dane, Dane, Dane fan, man. I am a Dane Dane fan. Um Dane Listen, Farrell. And there's a little there's a little revenge on the table because we went to Gaither last year. Yeah. And the game got stopped halfway through the third quarter. Really? Why did it get stopped? It was fifty to nothing, and a kid got hurt. And by the time the ambulance got there, coach was like, "Listen, we're done." No oh, shit. Yeah. So well, there's a little bit of a. I bet. G- Gaither's put a good little recruiting class together this year. Man, listen, Mike, Mike, Dane, Dane. Uh, I want to get some dudes. Uh, Dunn is hey, over there. healthy. I- I'm excited to see Mike. Yeah. More than anything, anything, him and Dane, Dane. I mean, but Mike, Mike didn't play in that game because yeah. he was still he was still coming back from that ACL. Yeah, injury. So I'm, I'm excited to see how Mike does. But Warren's got some dudes. Man. I saw his. I saw his highlights, well man. Coach. I saw his highlights. Still got. Still got that fucking extra burst. He does. Still got the he burst, does. man. So he's and gonna be good. Good twitch to him. Yeah, man. Look, man for, forget Tampa Gate thing. Okay. And Lydell Ross. Okay. Remember that guy? Remember Lydell Ross? Yeah. Tampa Gate thing. No, 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 he wasn't. No, no, he was Jesus. studying. He was, he was. He was. He was a stud in Tampa, so he came to see us. <laughs> Yeah, he's not going to understand it. I don't know, man. When he was at Ohio State, he did. Yeah, he did. He did fine. <laughs> uh, listen, I, I, it's going to be exciting week. Friday, Saturday, well, Sunday. Man, however you want to break it down. Beat your games. Football. No, he did not. Chill out. Chill out. Let's not get personal, okay? Chill out. Yes, he did. Chill out. No. He, 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 he was part of that Chelsea team. He got a ring. Lydell Ross was part of he, When did he beat Miami? Yeah, a one. He was on that team. He was on Ohio that. State? He was Maurice Clorette's backup. Son of a yes, bitch. Son he, of a bitch. he 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 was he was Maurice Clorette's backup. Mm. 
Yeah. That's okay. He'd be fine. He wasn't that shit in yeah. high school. Uh, so listen, football's back. Everything, sports <laughs> is all good to go. I'm excited. Yeah. I'm excited about seeing everything from Friday to Sunday, man. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a wild weekend, man. And again, I, shout out to Colorado. I'm gonna be watching that game versus Nebraska. That's where I'm gonna sit down and watch it, it because, like I said, I am just a fan of what Deion Sanders is doing over there in Colorado. And if you're not a fan, and you're a hater. You know, you're like, man, he can't do it every week. Go, go watch the game before you criticize or anything. So it's gonna be phenomenal, fellas. Uh, if you like the show, hit us up on email on the clock twenty at gmail.com, Facebook, OTC Sports, Instagram on the clock radio. And fellas, please be careful. Watch each other's backs. Have fun with your families. Life is too short. And we'll see you guys on the flip side. We'll see you later, Tampa. Hey, they're gonna put uh Dion and uh, Nick Saban in the Aflac Bowl watch. Uh, that's fine. He deserves to be there. He deserves it. On the clock. On the clock. <laughs>